Hey guys, what's up? It's Amphium. Uh Today I'm just going to be uh, showing you guys how to install uh, Light Lobby's uh, menu. If you don't remember Light Lobby's, he did have a uh, paid menu designed for uh, trick shotters a couple years ago. And uh, he did re-release that today for free. Uh, so I just figured I'd show a couple people how to set it up. And I just did want to go over a couple things. Uh, since some people might be confused with all the extra stuff that's in here. Um, but the main thing, how to set it up, is pretty basic. I'll just show you how to go that real quick. Um, all you're going to have to do is just take the light XCX, and you'll just put that on your hard drive. I've already done that. And you're just going to have to add it to your launch INI. Uh, it doesn't have to be in a plugins folder. Um, I just do that, but you can just have it on the root of the hard drive, and you just have to set it as a plugin. Uh, so as for the other stuff, since people, again, may get confused with this, um, these are all extra tools for like renaming the bots and stuff. Uh, so like for MW3, for example, um, it has a bunch of tools in here, mainly for like forcing hosts and then uh, for like renaming clients in game. Uh, a couple people may have issues with some of these, uh, at least for MW3 and for uh, MW2, uh, only because a couple of these tools that I've noticed uh, are out of date, like for 2015, uh, a lot of these, because... Um, there was a title update in 2019. So some of these tools may not work for you. Um, at least on those two games. Should work on all the other games. Like uh, Ghosts, BO2. But if you are having issues with some of the tools. They may just be out of date. Uh, but it does include a bunch of tools for uh, for you to try there. Uh, and then. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's just what all this extra stuff is for. You don't really need it if you don't want to use it. The main thing is just that menu there. So I figured I would just kind of explain that for uh, people. In case they're confused about anything. And then uh, for some of the tools, you may need uh, XRPC or JRPC. Uh, most stealths include that with their files. Um, I already have those two set as uh, plugins, so JRPC2 and JRPC. And that's all you really need if you're uh, going to use most of those tools there. But again, just things to keep in mind. Other than that, um, let's, uh, boot up a game here. So I'll just uh, load up NW3 for, uh, for example for you here. All right, now on most of the games, you will get this pop-up once you load it. Um, basically, there's three versions you can load. Uh, Non-verified means um, anyone that joins the lobby won't get access unless you give it to them. Uh, Auto-verified means as soon as someone joins the lobby, they will automatically have access to the menu. And then uh, auto-admin is a uh, higher level of the menu access than verified is, so they'll get more options. So uh, these are if you want people to automatically get the menu. Or if you just don't want to give the menu to people unless you specifically uh, click on their name in there, uh, you just click on the non-verified option. And that should be on most of the games there. Now, another thing I want to go over, uh, some people do have questions on this kind of stuff. Um, as you can see, I did load the XP Online off host just fine there. Uh, sometimes some plugins will conflict with each other. So, um, like for example, this time it worked, but some plugins, if you're having issues loading this, uh, it could be an off host or a different plugin that you're using that conflicts with each other. Sometimes they'll both try to load at the same time and they just won't work. So if you're having issues loading any of these, uh, try like disabling the off host you're using or if you have like a different menu on, uh, just try to play around with it until you can get this to load. That's usually more likely the case. Or if you run into issues with a lot of crashing, you could just be using two things that are conflicting with each other. But uh, for XB Online's off host, at least on this game, it does seem to load just fine, so that shouldn't be an issue. So I'll just uh, start a game up here. And I'll just quickly show you how to, uh, how to open the menu. Should apply for all the games. And we can't move during pregame unless there's like a button for it. Uh, but all you got to do to open the menu, you just uh, crouch and then press D-pad left. And there we go. And uh, selecting stuff, you press X. Go back to be uh, B or crouch. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm not playing tactical yet. So it's going to be B. For, unless you're playing tactical, you'll just do the op opposite. And then uh, to close the menu, you're going to have to crouch and uh, press left. It does not uh, let you close it unless you crouch, but not a big deal. But yeah, um, it's mainly designed for trick shotters, so uh, got a lot of trick shot options or for like faking clips or whatever. 
But uh, yeah, that's uh, basically how to set it up. And again, all that other stuff included in there is just if you want to use tools to like rename bots in game or anything. I think it all automatically renames a bot for you. Yeah, so like, don't really need the extra stuff, but that's just if you want it. But yeah, that's uh, how to set it up. I'll uh, see you guys in the next one, and uh, thanks for watching.